The purpose of this call meeting is to appoint two people to the vacant town council seats. Uh, what we'll do is I'll call it seat one and seat two. We'll vote on seat one first, then we'll go to seat two. Do I have a nomination for council seat number one? I'd like to nominate Dale Burdett for seat number one, Town Council of Clifton Forge. I have a second? Second. Councilman Umstead? Yes. Councilman Wolf? Yes. Vice Mayor Urban? Yes. Do I have a na uh, nomination for council seat number two? I'd like to nominate Deborah Latimer. Do I hear a second? Second. Councilman Umstead? Yes. Councilman Wolf? Yes. Vice Mayor Urban? Yes. With that being done, that's all we had on this agenda. I have a motion to adjourn the call meeting. Wait a second, Jeff. I'd like to say something. For those two people that won, I appreciate that. For the other seven people I applied, after interviewing all seven of them, the seven of them, the choice was absolutely unbearably hard to pick. Amen. Seven of the most, the hardest, difficult people that I've had to deal with that we could have picked any one of the, se other, the seven to take these two seats. To me, that's a good sign for Clifton Forge. Quality people are want to be involved. These people will be on town council till the 1st of January, 2023. They'll have to run again this November if they want to be, be on town council again. So again, I, I'll speak for all three of us. The competition was fierce. I didn't think it would even be close to what it was. So thank you for everybody that applied. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone who applied, and I hope every one of you that applied runs in November and let the people decide. Because it, it, it was just some honest, heartfelt letters and, and questions we asked. And, and all of them were, were just, uh, any, any of them were qualified. Any of them were qualified. You know, what kind of qualifications? Rick, we've you? taken no question. We decided at the meeting not to take questions. It's a call meeting, not a regular. <clears throat> Shorty. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it was very hard for me. I mean, I, I'm like, what do you, how do you determine? You know, it was just, it was very hard for me to make a decision because all of them could have done the job. I really one of them could have done the job, you know. Over and above what I did, you know. They, they were honest, up front. Every question you ask that, we were honest. So honesty is a big thing with me, it's honesty, and they were all honest. But, you know, that's all I can say, you know. <coughs> thank you. I too would like to thank everybody that applied, uh, all seven, and uh, I never thought in my wildest day that it would be seven or eight people put in for this, nine, <coughs> whatever it was. Um, I've been on council for about eight, uh, 11, 10, 11 years, 12, whatever it is now. This is one of the hardest decisions I've had to make. It's in the top five. It's a hard decision. Everybody's well qualified. Uh, don't let, because you didn't get it, discourage you. Make sure, as Bob said, run in November and let the people decide. That's all I have. And thank everyone for running. I hear a motion to adjourn the call meeting. I'll give you a motion. Second. 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 Councilman Upstead. Yes. Councilman Wolf. Yes. Vice Mayor Urban. Yes. 